What's up, everybody? This is Omo Tactics, and we're back for some more Big Dig. Um, after my terrible, terrible, terrible foray into the Nether uh, last episode, um, I obviously I did manage to get out, and I decided that I needed to do a little bit more preparation before I go in next time. So um, uh, let's go over this. I did add another. Uh, biogas engine here, so I have three running, which is uh, seems like enough uh, for the moment. Uh, still not quite uh, at equilibrium yet, so it is producing still a little tiny bit of excess. Um, and this is still, I'm only on my second fertilizer still. Um, I do have tons of wood and everything, uh, but what I did over here because uh, this was my initial chest up here that was storing all of my quarry stuff. Um, what I'm doing now is sort of a... I'm sure that there are easier ways to do this, uh, but I wanted to sort out everything that I could use uh, in the pulverizer. And so what I did is I had this... Uh, this right here is just sorting everything that can get pulverized out into the red tube. And then everything else is just going to go in here. So there's all the other stuff that comes out of the quarry. And then down ow, uh, down here, basically what I have is I took my pulverizer and I connected it up to here instead of uh, those clockwork engines. And then right next to it, I had the furnace. And uh, with these, you can configure the outputs and inputs of which uh, side of the block. So... Like, for instance, the top of the block is blue, and so the blue will always go into this right here. And this is an output slot, which is orange, and the orange slot over here is on the left, which is going to feed it right into the blue slot of the furnace. And then the left side is orange, which is orange over here, going into this. So basically what it's doing is it's dropping in as much as it can, and it's running here, this is, uh, like you'll see, it's just going to keep filling itself up um, and smelting bars. And then up here, because if I didn't have anywhere else for it to go, it would just pop out on the ground. Um, this is basically just a loop uh, with an iron uh, transport pipe that's going to keep it all going in this direction. So these will just continue to circle around infinitely until everything is out of here because um, the pulverizer gets backed up uh, because this can only do one thing at a time. So that's what's going on there. I did make a much, much larger... This is actually the biggest quarry that I've made so far. It's still not as big as they can be. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at right now. I just started this. It took a while to get through all of the sand, uh, which I have sand, cobblestone, and gravel and dirt going out into the void pipe because I don't need any of those things right now. Um, also, what I did is um, on my way back out of the nether, I did manage to grab a couple pieces of other woods um, and I also had um, those bloodwood saplings. Um, I did lose the original Gordon Ramsay, so I made a new one. Um, I also did lose um, my shovel, so I also made another one of those. Um, what's cool is with the nether woods, um, the things that you make out of them uh, actually take on the color of that wood. So I really like this crafting table. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I also did have that tainted soil, which is how you plant the uh, blood trees or whatever they're called. Um, and they, they're the ones that grew upside down, and I just put one here just to see what would happen, and it grew into a giant tree. It grew straight through the dirt there, and if we run around here, you'll be able to see it. It's actually really cool. That happened. And so I'm just, I just figured I'm going to leave that there because it's pretty cool. Um, so I have just been slowly gathering this cotton here. Um, these uh, do not 
grow into coal, they grow into coal essence, which is the stuff here. Um, and sometimes, rarely, they will give you a nature essence. Um, the coal essence, it, you make, I think it's eight of them uh, in the crafting circle, and they make makes it into X amount of coal. You also occasionally get these weak magic essences, blah, 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 magic essences, um, which uh, I'm going to want a lot of those eventually because um, I think we went over it last time. Um, how you can make, like, how we made uh, these coal seeds. You can make much better stuff in the long term. Um, like, there is something that you can make that requires a wither skeleton, uh, skeleton skull, but it gives you paths that I cannot talk. Passive fire resistance, um, which I totally want because I know that. In the nether, I'm going to fall in the lava or catch on fire because those stupid, stupid little spiders they just will not leave me alone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave those in there. Alright. Um, what else? Uh, okay. Uh, down here, a couple things that I did. Um, we'll get to that in a second. This is that floodlight that I was talking about. Um, basically, it projects a huge beam of light for a really long distance. So if I was to turn this off, you see over here is all dark, and then I can flip it on and it lights it up. Um, I just made one to sort of test it out and see how it worked. Um, I may end up getting sort of like a system going where I can flip a switch and have a bunch of them turn on and light this whole place up. Um, this is the smeltery for uh, Tinker's Construct. Um, this is how you make uh, the crazy alloys and stuff. I haven't really got into it yet, but I did go ahead and make this. Um, these stupid seared bricks are... There's a lot of time to make them because you need to make... Uh, you need like clay and gravel. And you need to make bricks out of that and then you need to craft more bricks out of those and blah 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 anyway um but oh that's interesting there's a zombie up there with chainmail i did get a chocobo up there um so i have been gathering his feathers um let's see in this chest right here i have uh, these are those woods that i got i did manage to get uh i think uh, one or two logs of each of them except for this one um, because some of the trees don't, uh, tree capitator doesn't work on, uh, like this right here. Tree capitator does work on that one, but not on all of them. Um, I, I did, um, sounds really close. Oh, that's right, right there. Um, I did, don't remember what I was saying. Uh, where was I talking about? Oh, um, this tree right here, the darkwood sapling, makes these weird pot ash apples, um, which do regenerate your hunger, but they also um, poison you slightly. Uh, so they, it's less than um, eating the rotten flesh. So this is sort of a way to sustain yourself if you wanted to do long-term nether. Um, I did make a bow out of each of the woods. I think there's one more wood that I haven't got called like ghost wood or something like that. Um, I did make bookshelves out of that blood wood, which I like because it's dark, dark red. Um, and what else? I have tons of diamonds. Uh, I don't remember what I was using them for though. Uh, actually, I think I want them. Um, let's go ahead and do this. What I... Really? Where? Get over here. Alright. Um, I do want to get... Um, I didn't realize that it was so... Um, let's see. I didn't realize it was so cheap to make, but I do want to get this, um, 
the power suit and uh, armor and the tinker table and stuff, which is this right here. It's actually really easy to make. I didn't realize that it was that cheap. So I do have some lapis and some emeralds. And I don't think I need anything else. Uh, look at this. I did make a project table, uh, which is this thing right here, project bench, um, which is basically just a, a crafting bench with some storage in it. I think actually if you leave things in here, yeah, it stays in there, which is cool. Um, I'm going to end up using this for uh, making that, uh, all that power suit stuff. Uh, do I have any more iron? Yes, we do want to go ahead and repair this while I'm here. Yeah, the diamond and the emeralds make a huge difference in how many irons it takes to repair that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back out to the quarry, because that's where all of my stuff is now. Do, 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 do. Um, so I think I needed, let's see, I needed, okay, so lapis, iron, and emeralds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and throw the project bench down. So put this in here. I know that we're going to need gold eventually, and now we're going to need diamonds and redstone and glass and these little nuggets too. And I think that's it so far. All right, yeah, I, I really don't like this stupid thing. It was a waste of diamonds. Um, anyway, let's see how we're going here. It's still stuck on iron. All right, looks like silver is up next. So we've got plenty of iron forever, <laughs> which is nice. Okay, so. Uh, this is lapis, iron, diamond, or, okay, so, emerald in the middle, lapis here, and this right here makes one of those, um, and then this will also, if you leave this, um, uh, recipe in here, it will just craft out of the available things that you have in the, um, in the inventory down here, which is kind of cool. So you can see this is the pattern that it's set up to make automatically. Uh, so go ahead and drop that down right there. And if you use this, it's going to tell you we don't have any of the power suit items yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of there. And first off, I want the first thing I want to do is make um, the chest plate because that is going to give me the option to make um, or it's a, the option for a jetpack, which is what I really need in the nether more than anything. So uh, this is just iron, which is easy enough. The wiring, though, is redstone and gold nuggets. So let's do I can make eight of those. Let's go ahead and make some more of these. I know I'm going to need a lot of this. Um, a lot of this wiring, so I'm going to keep it in there and make a bunch of it. Okay, so it was, um, what was it again? Okay, so it's just like a normal chest plate, but with wiring there. Uh, let's get some iron out here. A little bit of lag. All right, power armor chest plate. This is what I want. Okay, so um, it's not going to give me quite as much uh, armor, like a protection power, as the osmium stuff, but it's going to let me... Um, it also <laughs> looks ridiculous. Um, there you go, with the Gordon Ramsay in hand. Um, it's going to let me um, add on some things. So you can see in here, if we do this, um, now that I have... This gives me this option here, and these are all the things that you can add to um, 
to this. And so first off, you're going to need a battery of some sort to power all of your stuff. So over here you see it has, you know, zero joules of energy storage, uh, which means that nothing is going to work on it. Um, this right here um, is it's going to will generate heat or generate energy from heat so basically in the nether it will power itself um, and it basically tells you what you need down here um, you know two control circuits and basic plating or you can make these crazy batteries um, they're actually not too expensive as far as I remember um, I do want to try because I'm gonna be using this in the nether more often than not um, I'm going to make one of these, so it control circuits and basic plating. Let's see how those are made. Basic plating. Uh, easy enough, just iron and it's just this. So i got to make one of those. And then the control circuits. Okay, so I need some cactus greens, and some glowstone, and some gold. Alright. Cactus greens. Hmm. I don't think I have... Are there any of those shrubs around here anymore? Those are easier than getting cactuses. Cacti. Is that diamond? No. Shrubby, shrubby, shrub. No, there's also this cave, which I don't think is connected to mine. Come on, shrub, where are you? Sheep. Alright, I don't see any shrubs, which means I'm going to have to go. I think I turned all of my cactus greens into, um... Or all of my shrubs into waterproofing. I do think that I have some cactus in this little stupid chest that I... Oh, I didn't make that one. Into this chest over here. Yes. Okay. And uh, that means I'm going to need to make that stupid furnace. Which I don't have any cobblestone, uh, of course. La la la. And also I need to grab some glowstone. Do, 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 do. Glowstone. All right. That's also one of the other things that you can make with uh, this uh, magical crops mod is you can make uh, like glowstone seeds and things like that, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I need for each one of these uh, regular essences you need eight of the weak ones, and then they keep going up to like a major and extreme or something like that and those are the ones that I need at the end. So let's go ahead and drop you in there, get some cat screens. <sighs> anyway, so what else did I need for that? Glowstone, gold, wiring, redstone. Alright, easy enough. So I needed two of those, two of these things right here. Um, so I'm gonna need four of these cactus greens. I'll let the rest cook on them in here. All right, oh, creeper. All right. I wonder where that creeper came from. Anyway. And uh, basically I have a never ending supply of apples um, from my little tree farm over here, which is nice. Okay. More lag. Alright, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one down here so I can load this in. Or, well, why, why can't I do that? Oh, Apparently this weird crafting table doesn't work with that. Okay, whatevs. I'm just gonna have to memorize it. 
Um, okay, so it was like this and like this. That there was a glowstone in the middle and like a gold there or something, I believe. Yeah. Huh. Imagine that. Oops. Alright. Okay. So I got those. And then what else did I need? Basic plating. Did I already make one of those? I sure did. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. And then here you can uh, you can basically tinker with uh, how much energy you want it to create. And obviously the the more you want it to create, the more it's gonna weigh. Um, but you know, two kilograms isn't that much. So now that we've got that, you can also add a bunch of other things. You can add armor, energy shields, um, heat sinks, um, and then this right here is what I want, the jetpack, which reads four of these ion thrusters, which I think are actually a little bit more difficult to make. Okay, so um, iron glycine is easy enough. Solonites, those are easy enough. Is these things right here, which I need ender pearls for. Which isn't so much of a problem, because I do have all of those um, ender dusts. Woo! Slow down there. These things right here. I believe that these just make. Yeah, so. There's four ender pearls. And, oh, some diamonds already. Sweet. Um, okay. So this is still just looping along. Um, this chest is... Whoa. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> this chest is going to take a while to empty out. Oh, you know what? Um... It's like apparently because I'm heavier with that armor, um, I take I take fall damage easier now, uh, which is easy enough to fix because I can make the power suit boots, which is the next piece that I wanted. Uh, which is super easy. Oops. Alright, so we got those, and then these you can add um, the shock absorbers here, which is servo motors and two wool servo motors. Uh, more solenoids. Okay, so I just need to make a bunch of solenoids basically, which were just um, that and oops. And that basically, yeah. So I made all of those that I could, and I'm out of wiring. So let's go ahead and make some, let's make all of this into nuggets. Don't really need gold for much else because I have a bunch more of it. Make more wiring. Okay, so I have 11 solenoids, some iron, and that. I need two of those. This is probably boring. Probably should have thought this through before <laughs> before I decided to do this in a in a video. But anyway, um, oh hello spider. Thank you. So everything is so easy in the overworld compared to the Nether. It's ridiculous. Um, what was I coming over here for? Oh. I needed the cotton. Oops. Because that will give me some wool. Because I don't think I have any. I have one. But these. Not that. Oh, okay. So there you go. 
So that should work, hopefully. Actually, let's go ahead and sleep this night away. Holy crap, this episode has gone on forever. <laughs> I didn't realize how long I've just been sitting here talking. Um, anyway. So, let's go ahead and try and get this power suit stuff done. Um, before we end here. Okay, so I have this. I'm going to go ahead and put the shock absorbers on my boots. Are you kidding me? I need white wool. Damn it. Um, pretty sure there was a sheep over here. I thought I saw one. There is. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so once I have the shock absorbers on, um, it should be easy enough to um, to fall. Uh, I know when you turn the shock absorbers all the way up and you have a battery to power them, um, you can basically fall forever and never take damage. Okay, so we got this, this, install, and then turn that all the way up. Don't have any batteries or anything in it yet, but uh, we will change that. So as you can see, look awesome there, and then I'm going to put on my boots. Which look kind of ridiculous. But let's see if I... Let's see if these work without... Huh? Maybe. I like the little like Robocop sound that I made though. Alright, let's get that. And let's see if we can do the jetpack before we leave here. Ow. Eat some apples. Oh come on. Okay. So what I needed for the jetpack was the ion thrusters, is right. So, and that was um, two more. Okay, so I need a total of eight solenoids for that. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work. I also need I need eight ender pearls per ion thruster. I need four ion thrusters. Okay, so we're gonna have to hold off on that. Fortunately, we can though make some of the little batteries to get this um, to get this going. Uh, this one, what's that? We'll just go ahead and make the high voltage one uh, because those do carry a lot more power, and they're pretty easy to make. Glass under pearl. All right, so there's a glowstone, glass, ender pearl. I'll leave that in there, and then some wire, right? All right, now we'll go ahead and put that in the boots, just so that um, hey, you can see this. You can make the battery much bigger, but it also weighs a ton over there, so um, it doesn't really need to be that big right now. Okay, so. Now, my, uh, my little shock observer should work. Ah, there you go. And then you can see it little, uh, on the right of my screen, there's a little energy bar down there uh, that shows my current energy. Right now, I have no way to recharge it. Um, once I get the helmet and the legs, um, you can install a little solar panel on the helmet, and you can install kinetic generators on the leg. Um, which will uh, um, increase the, uh, the blah 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 will charge your things. So, how did I get four of these? Did it make did that make four of them? 
Huh. Or maybe I... Oh, you know what? I think I'm... I used up everything out of the crafting table. Yeah, so I'm out of redstone and stuff. Alright, uh, that's that's fine, because we're going to need some more of these anyway. So, alright, um, I've got... So what I need to do is I'm going to need to make more enderpearls. I'm going to need to... Yeah, basically make more enderpearls. Um... And that should be, that should be it, really. And then I should be able to, um, to actually venture into the Nether and not get myself killed. Um, so we will see what happens there. Uh, it's 22 under pearls or 24 rather. Um, not bad. But I still, I still don't think that's enough because I also need to make a bunch more of those. Wow, it's just some. It's not really expensive, it's just a lot of little pieces to put together. Anyway, this episode's gone way too long. Um, sorry this wasn't as eventful as last episode. However, next episode, uh, I do plan on going back into the nether. And... Um, oops. Getting some stuff actually done down there. I do want to get... Um, oh, you son of a... Uh, I do want to get um, some stuff actually done down there. I want to find some a blaze spawner, get some blaze rods, and all that good stuff. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.